be able to apply for the tool, but we need to know how to use the tool. Now, this is a tool. I'm just going to show you. So, this tool is supposed to apply like that on the top slot, not on the bottom one, but on the top one. Okay, so, if you look in here, you may be tempted to place it on this bottom one, but this is the wrong place to place. The right place to place, you see, it's difficult to come up. You can place it on top. And if you want to remove, you just have to place it here. Okay, on top, and then move. That's how you do it. So our first step is to apply the tool. In this scenario, we are assuming we are already gloves. So the next we need to palpate for the vein. Apply the tourniquet and palpate for the vein. And clean in a circular motion. Then the next thing to do is to insert it and have it I will use an orange ID card so that it can easily be visible. Now, this is an ID card. The first thing is to open the wings of an ID card. These wings. So, I'm going to open them like that. And the next thing I'll do is to remove this cup. Just unscrew it and remove it. Then I'll come and place it in my tray upside down like this. Because I will need it, this cup again. Then, what's next is to hold the camera like that. Or straight from the side, just like this. Then you have to open this cup and the camera is exposed. The next is to insert. Before that, you have to stretch your skin. It's always better to stand up. So you stand up, stretch with your thumb, and then 45 degrees. I'm resting my, my index finger on the patient's hand. So I'll move backwards slightly so that you can see properly. Okay? So here we go. Like that, stretch with my thumb, ring finger touching here, and I'm going 45 degrees. I want the patient with a sharp scratch. Sharp scratch coming. Okay. You break 45, you feel it will give way. When it has given way, you stop. Now you look here. You see what you see in here is called the first flashback. You feel okay. one deviation from the sharp scratch. Sharp scratch coming. Okay. You break 45, you feel it will give way. When it has given way, you stop. Now you look here. You see what you see in here is called the first flashback. Blood flows back. Now, I was stretching like with my thumb. I don't need to stretch anymore. I will use my non-dominant hands to hold it here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to check for the second flashback somewhere here by withdrawing this needle. You see? There is blood in it. Okay? That's the second flashback. Now, I'm going to have to put back this needle. Okay? What I'm going to do in the next thing is to hold the needle with my dominant hand, but using a non-dominant hand, I will slide the plastic of the camera through. So we go. See that? All the way through. Good. What would be next? Next is to press in front of the vein which we have been setting. After that, the press it goes, and then, so that if the blood comes out, then the blood will flow here. The next is to release the tourniquet. And remember what you said? You simply press on top here to release the tourniquet. Done. The next thing would be to remove the needle from here. You remove the needle, set it to the sharp skin. Okay, I'll just try it backwards a little bit. So, you can see that there is no blood in here. There is no blood in here, which means it's not in the cup, it's not in the vein. We have to start the procedure again. In this situation, you have to place there, remove this camera, apologize to the patient, and take permission from the patient to do it again. So, what would that require? What that would require taking new equipment again, which includes a new camera. So again, I'm gonna take another one. I'm gonna be slightly quicker this time because I'm running out of time. We place one there, and then another goes. So another apple swap, and another goes. Good. The rest of the things I haven't used them yet. I'll apply the tourniquet again. So we move that and we apply the tourniquet again. One, tourniquet applied. Next is to clean. You take off as it goes, you tear it like that, and you clean in a circular motion as discussed. Next, you take the camera, open the wings, remove the cap, place it upside down, and you hold the camera like that. See from the side? Remove the cup. To expose the needle. The next will be to insert the camera. So again, I have cleaned in there. I'm going to stretch like that and I'm going to warn the patient. Remember, my index finger is resting on the patient's hand, so I've got control. If I'm on air like that, I may fail to stop. So I'm resting in here with index finger so I can stop if I need it to stop. When? Once I pass the, the wall of the vein, it will give way. The resistance will stop and I'll know I'm in the vein. So sharp scratch coming. Good. It gave way. And you see this? One more time. First flashback. I have to be very careful now. I have to hold him here and I'm going to draw the needle to check for the second flashback there. Draw and the second flashback. What I'm 
Yeah, that's the second flashback. Then I'll put the needle back. And what I'm going to be doing is to slide this plastic through, slide it through all the way, press in front, release the tourniquet, and make sure I put the gauze in here so that if the blood comes, it will flow there. This goes into the sharp stem. Okay? Good. So the next thing, I'm going to take this white cap and place it back there. Okay? Close it back here. Then what we're going to do next, open the top and take normal saline and we'll flush. Okay? After flushing, we close this back and the next step would be to apply the technique. That will be the next step. And that will be another one is nine stick. We need a stick one. Okay? So, we're going to apply it from the top like this. The cannula goes this way, the take it and will come this way. Cannula here, take it down like that. Let's go like that. Stick it in the arm. You take one of these, you apply it, and this one on each side of the wing, and then we'll open it here. Okay, so let's apply the steps first. You take one of these, you apply it on this wing, good. And another one, apply it on this wing, good. And then, this now we take it and look. Then I'm going to open it there. One is sticky, another one is non sticky. We need a stick one. Okay? So, I'm going to apply it from the top like this. The camera goes this way, the bigger end will come this way. Camera here, take it down like that. Let's go like that. Stick it on the arm. Good. Now, there's a paper on top of it. You have to remove that paper. So, I'm going to pinch somebody, just pinch, and then remove. Just follow the shape all the way like that. If you look in here, there's a date. This is where supposed to label the date. Okay? It's supposed to label the date there. So I'm not going to throw away this paper, I'm going to keep it. I'll press it here. The rest of this paper needs to be removed. So come on, I need to remove this. So you just have to support some bumps, you know, follow the shape. Follow the shape, and this out. Good. We don't need to do that. Here we need to label the date. So I'm going to put the pen. Okay, let me just put the pen. Okay, so today is 24, 0, 5, 2019. And you put your signature. Now, this is what I've done. I've labeled the date and I've put my signature down. After doing this, I need to remove it. So, what you do, somewhere there, scratch, scratch, and then remove it like that. Okay. This, and then write on the side. So, now we can know when this camera was inserted.